In this video, I'm going to show you on how you can zoom in or zoom out in your Chromebook device. And there are a lot of things that you can magnify, not just the web pages. You can actually magnify or zoom in a certain app. So it's going to be a lot bigger and maybe a lot easier to read. So let me break it down the step by step process and also the methods you can try to zoom in and zoom out in Chromebook apps. So let's start with a simple app like the files app. So this is the default uh, state of the file. I'm not zooming or zooming out anything. And in order to zoom in, you can press the keyboard shortcut control and plus. So I'm going to press control and then uh, press the plus key on the keyboard and it will look a lot a bit bigger 10 percent bigger now 25 percent bigger 150 and i think the limit was around 200 i believe so this is 200 times which is really really big and maybe not very comfortable oh, okay we can get 250 300 400 500 i think 500 is the maximum so it's becoming unreadable but yeah I, you get the idea so if you want to zooming out you can press ctrl and then minus on the keyboard by the way the minus key and the plus keys are located on the row on the number rows so it's after seven eight nine and then zero and then there is minus and, and then there is plus so you can use those keys to control the zoom level of the page on your chromebook app so by the way you can also just use the cursor to control the number and i'm going to be reset to the default setting and there you go it will disappear so you have to use the keyboard keys to start the zoom in and zoom out feature now that was for an app how about a web page well if you're using google chrome i think it's pretty easy now i'm going to open google chrome and let's say i'm going to visit a website like google.com and to zoom in you can click this option and either zooming out or zooming in which makes things a lot bigger and of course you can use the same keyboard shortcut that i just shown you before just press ctrl and then minus or plus so i'm going to demonstrate it again ctrl plus plus again plus again plus again until it gets very very big i'm going to go back to 100 okay by the way if you feel like you need the interface to be bigger not just on a specific page or an app in chromebook then you can actually make the magnification or you can basically make the scale of everything to be bigger and it, it is available directly in the settings page now open launcher and then open settings and after that click accessibility and you, you actually have the option to uh increase the display magnification so this is actually the setting that you can try oh sorry before we get into that i forgot that in order to make the scaling bigger then you have to go to device and then click display and then here's where you can play around with the magnification or the scaling of the, of the display so by default it's using 90 percent you can set it to 100 percent which will make things bigger and i can set it to 100 10 125 120 now it looks like a regular tablet so i'm going to go back but that's basically the setting that you can try to adjust the scaling of the whole os not just a specific apps or websites now let's talk about accessibility because there is a magnification feature that you can try so go to accessibility and then display magnification and then you can either use a full screen magnifier or dog magnifier i really wish i could show the full screen magnifier because it's really cool but if i click this you won't see anything because i'm using a recording software and unfortunately the magnification doesn't register when i'm recording this screen that's why you didn't see anything but once you enable this feature everything will be zoomed in so it's going to make things a lot bigger and maybe easier to read for some people now i'm going to disable and the dog magnifier is a bit more interesting and maybe in my opinion it's better because you still have the context about what the page look like and at the top you can see the magnified person sorry the magnified version of it and i think it's just giving you better context than the previous option so yeah that's basically the 
I don't know, five methods you can try to make things bigger in Crumble. Anyway, I hope you find this tutorial video to be helpful and I'll see you on the next tutorial video.